Eight. It, it restored the state and the simulation just continues to work uh, as, as, as before. Um, so this will be, again, this is a very early tech, but this is, this is a, a great benefit of what we have with our replication layer split. But there's one more thing. Um, and let's try this thing again. I just killed my server and I'm, I'm trying to do that again. But this time, um, we're doing something different. So let's first go in here. Um, this is my development tool. Uh, I can talk about it in a second. So let's stop that server again. And restart. And this will take a little bit. Um, I'm running this tool you see here. This is our internal development tool. Um, this tool runs the entire stack of our game on this PC. Um, this is obviously for development only, and I can do that with my small test level. Um, but this really helps online devs and all people who work on the incredible, complicated tech we here to be able to develop uh, our game. And because I run everything on this PC, it's a bit slow. So let's, let's wait and see what's happening here. All right. Simulation continues. I can see Ben moving again. Hey, Ben. However, what just happened? Well, as you can see on my screen, I no longer have one server connected. I have three servers connected to this replication layer. So what you guys see here, this is the very first version of the working server mesh. All right. So now I'm going to explain a little bit how this magic works, because it is truly magic. Each server, when it came up and the replication area realized there are three servers, we assigned different zones to those servers. And we said, OK, server one, you are the authority over the purple area. Server two, you are the authority over the green area. And the last server is authoritative over the red area. Um, you can still see that those servers have all those entities replicated. But only the, the entities within their zone are actually authoritative on that server. So while I'm in this green zone at the moment, my entity is simulated on that green server and just replicated on the other server. Um, and now, as I transition between those zones, you will see that on that green server, I just lost authority. And on that purple server, I just gained authority. Um, and because it w my entity was, my player was replicated on both servers, this completely uh, works seamless. Um, and again, let's do that a couple of times. You see on my client here, I don't notice anything of that. This, is, this all happens behind the scene. And this uh, doesn't work only on me. Let's turn on the, uh, the zone colors and the object, the uh, authority assignment on the client as well. Um, you can see that even entities, as they transition into the other zone, seamlessly transition to that zone. And not only that, I can also interact with entities that are on the other side. So if I go on the screen zone, for example, and I shoot this, I can still shoot that purple uh, entity. And I can also just go ahead and destroy that buggy which sits on that other zone. There you go. Always fun to blow stuff up, right? All right. Um, so there's more to this. Um, the first thing I will do, let's spawn a fresh buggy. I just destroyed my old one. Um, when I go into this buggy, 
I will become part of the aggregate. And that means that now my buggy and myself will transition authority together. And this is how we make sure that my player, while he's driving this buggy, is always authoritative on the same server. So you can see, as I drive around with this buggy between the zones, I will switch between the different servers. All right. Um, but there's more to this. So remember when I turned on the streaming earlier? The same streaming mechanics work here as well. Like, obviously, in this example right now, you can see all those servers, they have all those entities replicated. And it's a little bit wasteful, because you have three servers, all need to replicate all those entities. Um, and that's where streaming comes into play. I can turn on streaming here, and you will see that suddenly, my purple server no longer has the red area streamed in. And the red server no longer has the purple area streamed in. Um, so let's see what's happened when I drive my, my buggy uh, backwards into, that red, uh, into the red zone. What happens on that purple server? Um, and I just disappear. So right now, on this server, there's only Benoit replicated. And Benoit, if you come, come to me over in the red area, you will see that now on this server, there's no client at all. And in theory, we could now completely stream out the entire area on that server, or stream in a new area. And you will also see, as I drive back into the green area, I will magically uh, reappear on that purple server. And this obviously works on, uh, on, on the other side as well. Uh, let's get a couple more player join. I have a, a couple more QA in the back, so you can just see the whole thing uh, running at live. Uh, running in live with, with a bit more uh, things going on. We get out of this buggy. And you will see on each server renderer which clients are currently replicated on those servers and which clients are actually authoritative on those servers. And you can see this, the green server, because it's the middle one, has most entities replicated. Um, and then you can see this purple one at the moment only has one, one, uh, one client replicated. Yeah. So yes, this is pretty much it. I hope, I hope you guys, guys enjoyed this. Um, it has been a long time to come to this point, and I can't. I just can't put in words how much tech and work we had to put into this. Big shout outs to the network team, big shout outs to the online services team, big shout outs to Chris to let us doing this. It's been a really long journey to get to this point. Uh, and I've got to say the team has done an amazing job They've been working diligently for the last four, five years. We've had a couple of false starts. We finally have an incredible, I mean, the way the replication layer works and how we can spin up servers and down and keep the state constant, even if a server goes down, is, I think, a genius design. And the first time I saw this, <laughs> about three weeks ago, working fully, I cried. <laughs> it's like giving birth. We did it! Uh, <laughs> and we wouldn't have been able to do this and work on this kind of tech without all your support. That's right. I'm now you guys and your trust. are allowing us to take the time to do it right, to really build it. So thank you, thank you guys. so much for everyone. And thank you everyone at CIG that's really worked hard to deliver all this amazing stuff that will be either in your hands now or in your hands very soon. And this is just the beginning of CitizenCon. We've got a lot more stuff to show you. Yeah. That's what we need for this right. MMO, guys! That's what we need! Great demo, by the way.
Oh, nice. That was great. Fuck yeah. <laughs>